Welcome to Subramani. Uh, one very interesting question uh, in the sense that uh, given the volatility of the stock market uh, and the uh, perceived safety of bonds, what are the advantages and disadvantages of investing in equity bonds and real estate? A uh, good question in the sense that the answer is uh, uh, pretty straightforward. Equities are uh, volatile in the short run bonds are safe in the short run right so your answer has to be uh, when you invest in equities you shouldn't be worried about volatility volatility is like turbulence in a plane every flight that you take there could be some turbulence and the pilot says wear your seat belt it is not a crash right so one in a million flights may be crashing so volatility will always be there and you don't have to worry about volatility you have to have the ability to sit tight Right, like a um, uh, couple of days back, the market fell by 1.15% or 1.31%. Uh, obviously, there was a talk of crash in the market and uh, market has fallen and uh, what will happen and things like that. The ability to sit tight during such periods or perhaps buying during such periods uh, is what gives you money. Is debt safe in the uh, long run? No, it's debt is not safe in the long run. Even guilt is not safe in the long run. Even PPF is not safe in the long run. In the sense that the return that you get will be uh, just about um, equal to inflation or in India for extremely long periods of time, we have got negative return. So don't talk about the period when you got 12% return in PPF and say, oh, we got very good returns. Yes, you got very good returns, but those were the days when inflation was also at 14%. There was also a time when Reliance issued bonds at 18%, right? So those things happened. Those, they, what you should be looking for is the return that you get minus inflation, the real return. So your real return in PPF could be zero. Your real return in a bond fund or a bank fixed deposit could be 1 or 0 or minus 1. <clears throat> the real return that you get in equity could be uh, 3 or 4 percent over long periods of time. So over one year, um, let's say 2024, you may get a return of say minus 35 percent. What happens then, right? So the market falls. Can it happen? Of course it can happen. But over a long period of time, it will get corrected. If you are doing your SIP and the market falls 30%, it means you're getting more and more units at a lesser price. So after two years in 2025 or 2026, when the market recovers, this would look like a golden period of investing. So you should know how to use volatility rather than crib about volatility. Having said that, equity will give you good returns in the long run. If so few conditions are met one it should be a good portfolio it cannot be one single share the risk is too much it could be any share it could be hgfc bank could be hgfc uh, uh, mutual fund could be icsa bank could be state bank could be larson and tubro one single share is too risky so i would suggest a portfolio index itself is a portfolio so in the long run in the index chances of you getting returns less than inflation is very remote especially when you're talking of 15 to 30 years right and that is the kind of time frame you should have in your mind you may get a better return in two years or three years right if you had invested in 2020 in 2023 you're sitting on many four baggers and seven baggers but that was a uh, luck of timing or whatever and with uh, you're saying that with hindsight so if you had come to me in 2020 i would have said please invest and expect that you will get 12 13 percent return over five six years you already got it in three years is just uh, luck none of us knew this was going to happen or we would have sold our house and uh, bought equity so debt is something in which you park your funds which you require for a short period in a very short period of time say two three years five years uh, then a big portion of your amount should be uh, of the amount that you can invest should be in debt also over a period of time you may want to accumulate some debt assets also if you are 50 years of age or 55 years of age you may want a big portion of your money to be in debt for that amount which is required to be spent on a day-to-day -day basis so that would be your bucket number one where you would keep a lot of debt instruments like ultra short bond fund uh, uh, maybe short term income fund all that would be in bucket number one bucket number two would have arbitrage funds bucket number three could have equity funds right so this is how you would be investing 
should you invest in real estate i don't know because i have not seen too many uh, real estate success stories are there none no i wouldn't say there are none maybe this is a great time to be investing in real estate because nobody is investing but where to invest when to invest how to invest whether to sell or just keep it on rent i have no answers to all these questions so that question i will avoid uh, do i have real estate investment the answer is no uh, i have this house and my I, my wife has a house which is given on rent uh, that is just incidentally there it's a old house which is there and maybe we'll just get rid of it also so is it part of my investment portfolio no is it something which i own yes i am getting great returns on my original cost i am getting fantastic uh, rent but on current cost i am getting pathetic rent so not too keen to hold on to it insignificant portion of my net worth so not really bothered too much but uh, yeah i have uh, my views on real estate should not matter Uh, I am not a real estate player, but yeah, I have friends who uh, are in the real estate market, and they swear that they get good returns. I don't have any facts to vouch for it uh, or deny it. So, real estate, I don't have an answer. Bond is where your money should be if it's a short term. Short term means up to five years, and uh, equity is where it should be if it is long term, which could be anything from five to thirty years, right? Or uh, arbitrage funds, which uh, is a compromise between a debt fund and a uh, Uh, and an equity fund so choose your uh, choose your investments but if you don't invest in equity you will not be able to uh, retire well you will not be able to grow your wealth uh, but if you put too much money in equity you may not be able to sleep well so it's always a compromise between living well and sleeping well so you make your choice see what is your comfort level and invest but you need some protection against inflation which is provided largely by equity and sometimes also by real estate thank you